Hi, today we want to go over the integration of SecRMM with Microsoft System Center Configuration Manager. And uh, just a brief introduction, SecRMM is a Windows security software product that monitors and controls uh, any type of removable storage um, being connected over the USB. And this type of removable storage includes mobile devices and what we call classic USB devices, which are, you know, bit, bit locker flash drives or hardware encryption devices. Anything that Windows identifies as a storage object over plug and play, SecRMM will monitor. And before I get started with the SCCM integration, uh, just to give you a quick overview on the endpoint, where you, you deploy SecRMM to all the computers in your domain, uh, you can see in the computer management console, this is a little SecRMM node, and this, this is where you can control the product on each endpoint. And then in the event log, you can see there's a, a, a SecRMM event log, and we also uh, can log to the security event log. So I'm gonna show you a little demo today, and you'll see that how this works. But let's first go over um, what we're going to do in SCCM. So first things first, when you get SecRMM, you want to deploy it. And so it's very easy to do with SCCM. If I came, come here to the applications, you can see I can deploy the SecRMM MSI. And there's two types. We have the 32-bit and 64-bit MSI. But um, the SCCM makes it very easy to deploy both and then we can push out the license file. So step one is getting the product deployed and once it's deployed then we want to be able to set policy if we want to set policy. If SecRMM out of the box runs in monitoring mode so once you deploy it right away it starts monitoring the removable storage activity but if you want to put rules on top of it you can do that as well. If we come to asset and compliance you know that Microsoft's endpoint protection strategy uh, ships with the anti-malware policies and the Windows firewall policies. If you put the, the SCCM SecRMM console extension, then you can do the exact same thing for, um, for the removable storage policies. And uh, just to show you what this looks like, here's the rule set that I'm going to pull up in SCCM and see if I can put these side by side and you can see that the rules <clears throat> excuse me are the same uh, across both consoles and of particular note here if we tell SecRMM how to talk to SCCM um, you can see here what I'm doing is I'm specifying the SCCM site server and then a SCCM user ID and password so that now we know SecRMM can talk to SCCM and why we why we want to do that is so that the event data that normally is coming down in here into the SecRMM event log will um, come up into the SCCM console and we can look at that in the monitoring and if we come here under the status message queries. You can see um, if, we, if we look here, there's nothing yet. I'm going to show you a quick demo here in a second. But this is where we'll, we'll see the, uh, the SecRMM activity. And then once we have status messages, we could uh, run reports um, against those. So let's just do a real quick demo. I'm going to come here as if I'm, a, I'm an end user, and this is my end user workstation. And what, what a typical end user workflow for removable storage is, is I, of course, plug it into the USB port, and the Windows operating system shows me that uh, in Windows Explorer that I have this tablet that was mounted, and you'll notice there's two storage objects. So I'll remember that when you look at the status messages. We'll see two, two mounts. And then uh, I'm just going to run a real quick example. Say I come here 
and then I want I want to take some data out of the domain. Let's. Um, what do I want to take? I'll take uh, some some Excel data, and you can see now that um, we've copied the file to the remove removable storage, and then if I unplug it, then Windows Explorer unplugs it as well. And if we look at this, what this looks like in our event log is that we we have. Remember, I told you there were two storage objects that we have the two mounts and we have a file write, and then we have the uh, storage objects going offline. So you'll get to know these numbers, but this means online, this means write, and 403 means offline. So again, we have that down on the local workstation. You can see here it's, it's uh, double logged as well to the security event log, but this video is about the SCCM. So if we come here now and we want to show the messages, you can see, remember 400, 400, 402, 403, you can see that we have the data being listed here uh, in the um, status message viewer. So it's great as an administrator to be able to quickly come into status messages and see what's happening in your removable media, but you probably more likely want to run some reports. So if I come into the SCCM report section, uh, you could see that SecRMM has, has reports. So let's open this one. And you can see that if I um, run this report inside the console, of course I could go to the uh, the SQL reporting services web portal and run these as well. But um, let's see, we'll take the online, the offline, and the right, because that's what we did for our demo. And we're only going to have one computer because I'm, I've emptied out everything. And then uh, this is, and we can view the report. And now you can see that our, our report um, has run and we have our report data, a nice report listed and we can, um, we can do all kinds of good stuff with our reports, including printing and saving them off and emailing to other, other folks. So inside of SCCM, we were able to see the SecRMM event data through status messages and also through reports. The last thing uh, I wanted to show you uh, in that regard is if I uh, come down to um, here, if I want to, I could also look at the data in Excel. So um, SecRMM comes with a little Excel add-in that uh, will let you see your data. And the only thing you need to do here is see by default, it wants to pull it from the local SecRMM event log. We also have uh, something called SecRMM Central, which is really just uh, the Microsoft uh, event forwarding. So you can forward all your events centrally. But here we want to look at the uh, status messages. So then I just click on get the existing data. And you can see the exact same um, data that we had in the status messages is now rendering here uh, in in this little Excel spreadsheet. So here's our write operation, and, and, and you can see that one of the things about SecRMM that makes it unique is that it's capable of capturing the, uh, the source file, the complete path of the source, source file. So that is a quick demo of uh, integrating SecRMM with SCCM. Thank you very much and have a good day.